How is it going everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this simple workflow in Comfy UI to generate images like this, where you have full control over your character's face, pose, and the items of clothing that they will be wearing. For this one, I'm using Comfy UI and a few simple notes that are freely available on GitHub. The notes that I'm using today are ControlNet, IP Adapter, and Reactor Face Swap. To be able to use this workflow in your local PC, there are a few requirements. You need to have a GPU with 8 gigabytes of VRAM. I'm using RTX 2080 Super. There are a few files that you need to install in order to run ConfUI on your PC. First, go to this link and download Git. Then go to this link and download Python. I'm using Python 3.10.6. Go to this link, scroll all the way down, download this one, Windows Embeddable Package 64-bit. While installing Python, make sure you select the checkbox that says Add Python to the Path. After you finish installing Git and Python, go to this link to install ConfUI. Scroll down, click Installing ConfUI, and then click on this link, direct link to download. After that, you need to install ConfUI Manager. Go to this link, click Code, then copy this code. There is a icon here that says copy URL to your clipboard. Just click that, it will copy the URL to your clipboard. Go to your Comfy UI Windows Portable folder. Go to Comfy UI, then go to Custom Nodes. Click on the address bar of your Explorer window. Type CMD, type git space clone, then paste the URL of Comfy Manager. I've already installed this, so I won't press enter. If you press enter, it will download and install Comfy UI Manager for your Comfy UI. Once you're done installing Comfy UI Manager, go to Comfy UI Windows Portable folder, click on Run NVIDIA GPU. Go to the link to download the workflow. It will say Isaac Virtual Clothing Try On. Click and drag this into your Comfy UI Manager. It will give you a bunch of errors, but don't worry about that. It's showing those errors because you don't have the necessary custom nodes installed to run this workflow. To install all of the missing nodes, simply click Comfy UI Manager button here, and then go to Install Missing Custom Nodes. If you click this one, it will show you all the missing custom nodes that you have to install, and install one by one. Once you're done installing, next you need to download all the necessary models for each of the nodes. For ControlNet, we'll be using the OpenPose model. So go to Hugging Face, and download the ControlNet OpenPose Python file and the ControlNet OpenPose YAML file. Once you finish downloading these two files, go to your Comfy UI folder, then go to Models, and then go to ControlNet. Paste both of the files here. I have downloaded all the different ControlNet models, but for this project, you don't need all of them. For IP Adapter, go to the GitHub IP Adapter page, Scroll all the way down to installation, download all the necessary files from here, and make sure you place them in the designated folders. And also, if you need to, then change the names of the files accordingly. Make sure they match with the name that the author has put in this installation page. For example, if you download IP adapter face ID sd15.bin, make sure the file that you downloaded has the same name. If it has a different name, then simply copy this name and rename your file, and then place it in the designated folder. One of the tricky things that you might face issues with is the inside face model. If you have any problem or issues with the inside face model, this issue link here, and you can find proper guide to install the inside face. Next, we need to install the necessary files for Reactor. To do that, go to Comfy UI Reactor page on GitHub, scroll all the way down to the installation section. Under Comfy UI, you'll find the installation instructions. For this one, you need to install Visual Studio 2022, and then you have to download the necessary files. Make sure you place them in the appropriate designated folders. Once everything is downloaded and installed properly, all the nodes should look active, and you should be able to run this without any issues. To use this workflow, for the face image, Click Choose File to Upload, then select a face model that you want to use. Make sure that it's a simple front portrait 
where you can see the character's face clearly and it's a square image. Next, click this one for the pose. Choose file to upload, select a character pose. It works best when you can see the full character, the full body in the image and if it's a simple background. And you can download these images from any stock website. Even if it has like watermarks on it, it wouldn't matter, it would work. Then you have to choose the items of clothing that you want your character to wear. Next, in the top mask section, right click on the image, click open in mask editor, then select a specific thickness and opacity for the mask and then draw over the character's top part where you want your t-shirt to appear. Click save to note. Do the same thing for the bottom mask. Choose the same character photo that you selected for your character pose. Right click on it. Click open in mask editor. Then select the, your, the character's legs to define the mask area. Click save to note. Once both of, once all of these tasks are complete, simply click Q prompt and it will start running through all the nodes. And then it will generate and there you go. So we have the character's face, character's pose, and we have the character's clothing, and the masks. And finally, here we have the character posing with that exact face that we provided. It is doing the pose that we wanted it to do, and it is wearing the item of clothing that we wanted it to wear. As for the prompts, I've simply written Professional photo, close-up portrait of a beautiful woman, wearing t-shirt and jeans, out of focus background. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them below. And if you run into any issues with the installation, you can also comment and I'll try my best to resolve those for you. I'm giving away this workflow for free, but if you want to contribute, you can always buy me a coffee. The link is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.